Hi, here I am, Suffolk Triumph, here amongst all these marvellous motorcycles, but what am I on? Here, yeah. oh, an old favourite, of course, yeah, T100, but this one's the Stealth. Oh, look at that, I've got my hazards on, where's my hazard switch? There, there we go, uh, into gear, clunk, of course, and then we're off. Let's get, get get going. And um you're probably thinking, well tame, you've got your own T one hundred. Oh look at that. Just wonderful. What what are you doing riding another one? Well, this is the stealth. Yeah, much made of them. And initially I'd been disappointed and I said to Jake, I was disappointed that they actually made the T100 stealth this bluey colour and you'll see it when when I stop but actually looking at it again I thought actually I quite like that now I always said I like my gold line and unless the only thing that would get me off it would be another T100 with a, a nicer paint job and someone said well you could just have a new paint job done and that is true um, but when you've got a nearly new bike oh look at that it just handles absolutely fine uh, when you've got a nearly new bike the things to consider so I've done a few thousand miles on on my T100 so I know about the bike I know what it's like they haven't changed it um, other than the paint job and the tyres um, since mine yeah no it's not changed at all it's the same bike so I know it pretty well oh we're in a 50 marvellous I also ought to just go through the spec of the bike which you all know because I've done it so many times and I should know it off the top of my head and I think we're talking about 65 brake horsepower yeah 64.49 something ridiculous like that um, you know some but let's just call it 65 brake horsepower um, and 80 newton meters of torque now someone did say there's no way it's got 80 newton meters of torque but it has this is the high torque engine the old ones didn't um, and I can tell you it really does pull and it, it, for real world riding um, for me it's it's the idea it's the ideal bike now what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna go down the washboard road because I know all about the suspension and the gravel and all that lot I'm going to go down here, down to Waldron Field, yeah, see what that's like. Um, handling's absolutely superb, oh, and the trailer's just pulled out in front of us, that's not good, is it? Um, yeah, so that 80 newton metres of torque and a 65 brake horsepower, absolutely ideal for real world. Cruises all day with Mrs Tame on the back, 75 if I were to go over 70 that is yeah and still pulls away if you need to overtake no problem at all yeah up to you know whatever speed you need to be doing uh, and yet yeah, it's also very smooth in slow traffic as we are now whereas if you had the T120 um, from my experience they're a little bit lumpy at uh, the slower speeds yeah or a little bit jerky I don't know if it's the ride by wire or the sheer grunt that they've got and they do have a lot of grunt I mean you just talk to two wheeled Willie he'll tell you he's in love with his T120 um, and some of that love comes from that sheer grunt that they've got um, so so there's that a seat height as well of 790 well I'm six foot two um, and a 34 inch inside leg 
and I sit really comfy on it. I have no problem at all with the seating position, with where the bars are, the angle of my leg, everything just seems dead comfy. Um, but the seat height is only 790, which opens the bike up to just about everybody and anybody. Um, yeah, no trouble at all. So we'll get slowed down again. I just didn't want to be behind that trailer. I don't want you all thinking I'm a lunatic. Yeah. Um, so for pottering about on a Sunday, absolutely fine. For going uh, scratching around the back roads, uh, fine. Yeah, oh, well within its capabilities. It handles well. Um, it's got the acceleration. It's got the brakes. Everything is contained for what it is um, I really do enjoy riding mine and the sound is lovely uh, and you can ride it how you want the clocks uh, classic two round clocks rev counter analog um, speedo analog all the information you want uh, fuel um, let's get slowed down uh, uh, trip gear indicator don't need no more than that really do we no uh, suspension I have no problem with it some people might want to upgrade it I don't know depends if you want to carry a lot more load um Mickey Mouse mirrors are fine for seeing out of. I don't know, for some reason, I always have difficulty with my left shoulder. Maybe my left shoulder's bigger than my right, I don't know. But I'm, I've messed about with mine a bit, and it is better. Or, oh, and of course, down here, we don't have the washboard road, but my Christ, we have a lot of speed bumps. <laughs> yeah. Um and it just glides over them and these are quite vicious ones as well um, yeah so there we go there we've got it the classic metal badges on it and everything uh, clutch light as a feather no problems gearbox clunky I've not sat on a triumph of the Bonneville range that isn't clunky they are they just just live with it don't mean there's anything wrong with them I've had no problems at all with my gears on any of the triumphs I've had I know in the early ones people said that they had problems and there may well have been some problems but they seem to be fixed now so down here we've got the boatyard now it's Saturday so I don't know if I'll get away with parking down there it'd be nice if I can and just do a little walk round it's quite cold it's sunny but it is quite cold it's only about 9 or 10 degrees at the most yeah so I'm just gonna park it here because it is nice just to have a little look at the river isn't it so if I just park it here just outside the Maybush, excellent for food, fish and chips, marvellous I can tell you, yeah, um, so there we go, let's get ignition off, side stand down, no centre stand, I had to put a centre stand on mine, and if I were to do anything like part oh. exchange, oh, there you go, Triumph T100, oh, just marvellous isn't it? Um, let's get the other camera out so here we are I've just had to move it um, because they're coming down with loads of boats so we might get interrupted every now and then but I've, I've moved it out of the way so I don't have to keep shifting the bike yeah marvellous but here we are um, the stealth what do you think first I thought it looked a bit bland but when you get it out in daylight it looks completely different 
Um, obviously it's got the black wheels um, and, and spokes. Uh, radiator, of course, that marvellous 900 engine and like a bush steel exhaust, which I quite like, easy to keep clean. Um, round headlamp, of course, traditional, probably needs a fender extender, to be honest, as well, just to help keep it cleaner. Mickey Mouse mirrors in chrome. Just lovely, Brembo brake, and then we've got another boat coming, so what I'll do is, I'll just stop at this point. So, here we go, back to peace and quiet, yeah. Um, uh, C790, as I said, um, fairly comfy, you can get a comfier seat if you want, I have no problems with it, uh, as standard. Yeah, suspension, um, absolutely adequate for me and Mrs. Tame, and that about sums this bike up. It's just perfect, just as it is. You don't need to do anything, um, and it's pretty damn good. Yeah, uh, like I said, no centre stand, um, and well uh, worth putting one on. They don't come cheap, they're a couple of hundred pounds. Um, but the thing about this bike is the paint. So you come around the front and you go, oh yeah, it's T100 black. Yeah. Um, let's get in the sun as well. It just looks black and it looks black and you look at it from the top and it looks black and you come round and you start to see how they've feathered that blue paint in. And then when you look at it from this angle, yeah, um, it's blue, like a nice deep blue. Lovely, really, really like it. I didn't like it at all to start with. Weird, eh? Um, but there you go. I'm going to get back on it um, and go for a little ride, and we'll do the senses test. But. This is Waldron Field, and uh, this is the Maybush. Yeah, marvellous pub, um, marvellous place to come. You can bring the kids and go crabbing and all sorts. Yeah, right, let's get back on. Right, here we are, back on board. Ignition on, Brrr, ding, Brrr. fire it up. Right, let's get gone, yeah. So, dead easy and we're off and we're on to the census test oh more boats just boat after boat came past during that walk around so if it's a bit jumbled i apologize yeah <laughs> marvelous but oh, what an easy bike to live with and i can say that from a lot of experience yeah slightly too high a gear there but it deals with it, no problem at all. Maybe go down one. Yeah. Um, a, a lot of people, all the people that were coming past with the boat say, what a lovely bike. And I say, yeah, yeah, it is like it's mine. It's not, I've got to take it back. Um, and there's a roundabout on the A12, which you'll often see me go in a particular direction and what you don't realise is very often what is this car doing? They're doing a 50 point turn it's got, it's got enough room to turn a bus round oh and now it's stopping marvellous there you go um, yeah so, and very often I go off in different directions and it's a very easy thing to do. It's, uh, so if you are vlogging and you want to cut bits out, um, you, you use a roundabout, use a particular roundabout, because you can always come back to that roundabout and just pick it up. Yeah, marvellous. So there you go, a t little tip for you. Um, 
So, where was that? Oh, the senses test. Yeah. Um, taste. Well, this has got to be uh, a naughty sweet. A cross between a blackjack and something blueberry flavoured. Uh, it makes me think of Willy Wonka. Yeah. Oh, uh, when they blew that up because she had the, the blueberry juice. Yeah, marvellous. Um, so maybe a bit of chewing gum, blueberry chewing gum or something like that. I don't know. But sweet and long lasting because they are built well. Um, so yeah. Uh, then what? Smell. Well, it smells absolutely gorgeous. It's a brand new bike, hot metal. Uh, what's not to like about that? No smell of petrol or oil or water or anything. Um, and then what have we got um, to look at? Oh, it's a Triumph Bonneville T100 from any era. And there is argument saying, oh, I don't look anything like the uh, early Bonnevilles. Well, I disagree. I think it does. You can clearly see what it is. And I think if you showed anybody... Um, of any age that say what it was that's what I think I, I, I could be wrong um, if you don't want a classic bike then you would, maybe wouldn't like it uh, you can get bags and pannier racks and all sorts and I need to get that sorted for mine um, so yeah you can go touring on them people do if you watch uh, classic rides he go goes off all over on his um, I think his is a T120 though but whatever it doesn't matter I, you know it's got more than enough power to do, to do that um, and then to touch and feel top notch quality you know, nine and a half thousand pounds or thereabouts, and if you bought it in winter, they had like a thousand pounds off. Yeah, marvellous, eh? Um, but nine and a half thousand pounds if you put, came to buy one of these now. Uh, so you're getting quality, you're paying what three grand more, well, maybe not three grand uh, or thereabouts. Uh, more than an interceptor or a BSA um, but I think whilst I love the interceptor and the BSA and I, there's nothing wrong with their quality they're not up to this standard they're just not um, so yeah very smooth to touch and feel uh, those clocks I mean in in sunlight are just absolutely wonderful um, yeah so that, that's about all I can say on the quality the chrome is all good um, does it rust or everything anything metal will rust if you don't look after it if it gets knocked and chipped and stuff like that so you've got to take care of them um, but to ride I just love them I really do uh, so and then we're down to the sixth sense how does it make you feel uh, oh, well just lovely I've, I've spoke before about the connection with my dad so I've got to I guess sort of eliminate that so I'll put that out of my mind and just think um, how does it make me feel apart from that connection and I like it I like the sound I like the feel um, am I too big for it oh, I don't know I don't care really to be honest so um, yeah so how does it make me feel pretty damn good I've got to be honest safe and secure now is that because um, I've done a lot of miles on the uh, T100 and I, I feel I know the bike and I can trust it I know how it'll go around the corner I know how it'll break 
um, all those things come into it. But I don't think it is. I think anybody getting on one is going to feel pretty much the same. And the talk on it is fun. You can play with it. The sound is just marvellous. It's classic Bonneville. Uh, you know, as much as the interceptors sound like an interceptor, the BSA sounds like a BSA. So, you know, bikes have their sound, don't they? I don't know why, but they do. Um, and this is the same. I like it. Oh, it feels like I've come home. It's like putting on um, a well-made suit. It fits you, yeah. Uh, and I think, for me, the T100 Bonneville fits me, fits me very well. Would I like something faster? Well, I've got something faster. I've, I've got, I've got the uh, Thruxton to. Uh, to uh, satisfy my craving for more speed but this has got plenty it'll do well over 100 miles an hour um, you know uh, you don't need any more than that and this will handle well within its speed limits yeah I'm sure you know what I mean by that it's just a well settled motorbike um, and to my mind, putting the 1200 engine in it is what upset that balance. They rectified it with the uh, speed twin by beefing up the suspension, beefing up the swinging arm, and that made a big difference, I think, over the T120. But there you go, that's just me. What do I know? Um, yeah. So that's where I am with it. But I've got to take this one back. I've got my own at home in the garage, so I'm quite satisfied. But would I fancy a change of colour? Because I do like this. Yeah. Um, I've got to say, got to watch. Sometimes you get bits of gravel in the middle of the road on this, and the rest of the road's so smooth it's like hitting marbles. But, I'll bring you back when we get closer to Lynx, yeah. Right, so, almost back. Uh, it is time to give it back. Um, always sad. Yeah, I think Mrs. Tim would like that. Oh, we've got people outside, so I'll have to pull past them. We'll just go a little bit past and we'll just have a little look. So, into neutral, indicator off, um, dead easy into neutral, si side stand, no problem seeing that. Ignition off. And let's just have a little look. There you go. Triumph Bonneville T100, stealth. Yeah, marvellous looking motorbike.